all right that does not look very juicy and obviously that is going against my thumbnail guys in today's video we are going to try to determine whether the bull market is actually back or we are dumping and this is bear cycle okay so welcome back to the channel my name is luke and if you are new consider subscribing and of course remember that this video is not financial advice guys let's have a look at the chart first of all and later we are going to look at different data okay so this is a four hourly time frame for caspa right so we can clearly see that stochastic rsi has bottomed um, out pretty much and well we can put the green level in here which stands obviously for entry and probably that one would be red which would stand for an exit right if you guys will be trading this volatility right so for our standpoint from the perspective of MACD is still showing us that um, well this is basically a bearish momentum right but why this is a bearish momentum right so obviously something that I've talked about yesterday this thing actually went below so obviously nothing really juicy right and at the moment as of the time of recording this video Caspa is dipping into well basically below this level of the whole um ascending channel right so can it potentially break it well let's see so another level of technical support would be let me actually put it in here there will be roughly this level with confirmations in this area as you guys can clearly see right um that would be a dip of another and let's have a look well six percent can that happen that would put caspa at 11 cents six level that would be very very bad but obviously everything is possible right because i still do believe that we have a lot of time for well caspa and other alts to actually pump like crazy and why do i believe that's going to happen so let's have a look at btc's price action guys and let's try to determine why this is happening right so first of all guys on a daily time frame btc is well let's say being rejected from this level of a resistance right that obviously belongs to this whole um level of bull flag however you want to call it right however we have basically smashed through this level of resistance right and btc very shortly sat at 68,320, right so what does it mean right obviously people were betting that the price is going to go higher um many degens were basically um doing these leverage tradings and you know this is basically the resolution of it right market makers are seeing those things right so you can clearly see now that btc is basically experiencing this sell-off right and now guys do i think that the price of btc and well overall market is going to go a little bit lower i think that this is very possible considering the fact that we are sitting on greed which obviously can stay on greed for a long time during the bull cycle however the last flash before you know um the party is going to start is definitely possible okay so before we are going to look at caspa let's first of all have a look at btc okay so on a daily time frame this is how things are looking like right obviously now btc might gonna go towards the um upside um because people well basically are betting that you know the prices is going to go um, lower right however if i'm going to zoom this out to seven daily you can clearly see that we've got lots of liquidity um, on the long positions right many long positions are open almost three billion worth of liquidity only on binance but now guys if i'm going to put seven daily on all of the exchanges for btc we can clearly see that we've got 8.38 billion usd worth of liquidity okay and this is almost flat so everybody's betting long right Right? so that means that if the price is going to go lower for btc all of that leverage is going to be flushed right all of that liquidity of retail traders is going to be flushed so now guys looking at liquidity only on binance we can clearly see that the price is sitting at sixty one thousand dollars right so what does it mean if btc is going to go to sixty one thousand usd can you imagine what is going to happen to caspa guys things are potentially gonna go a little bit ugly you know short term i believe because of people's behavior in terms of trading and their 100x leverage whatever so let's go to btc's chart and don't worry we are going to go into caspa very very soon um 61,000 is basically this huge level of liquidity that BTC could potentially dip into, right? Let's go on a daily time frame. And now, if BTC is going to do such move, right, that is still going to be a bullish price action, right? Because BTC is basically creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows 
higher highs higher low right grabbing this liquidity and then going towards the upside and potentially conquering the price of 74k where BTC has experienced all-time highs. So this is the standpoint of let's say one weekly unless something huge is going to happen but obviously this liquidity is a lot right. So now guys let's go back to Casper right because if that is going to happen if BTC would dip to prices of let's say 61k that isn't going to be juicy at all. So the first level of support that Casper is going to see that's going to be roughly 11 cents six and after that another level of resistance is going to be roughly in this area which is 10 cents three okay so well in my opinion if that is going to happen i don't think that this is something to be worried about well unless you're a total bear and you are selling red candles right in my opinion these are going to be levels to accumulate if that is going to happen okay at the moment everything is pointing out based on the liquidity that it might going to happen however macro outlook is definitely much more bullish okay so let's have a look at the macro chart for caspa and now guys looking at total crypto market cap that is excluding top 10 on a daily we can clearly see that old coins basically reach this level and then go rejected right so this is pretty much normal and yet to be expected because if altcoins are still going to trade in this formation and then break out that is still going to be all right okay um so that's that also we have to remember about the fact of what is going on with usdt dominance right at the moment usdt dominance is basically doing i believe this bearish retest right obviously it bounced towards the upside from the level of support however this whole formation of a bear flag is still in play i believe and the first level of support is going to be anything between 505 percent and 492 right so we are going to see this drop i believe however we have to also be careful because you know the stochastic rsi most likely is going to go towards the upside right so what does it mean well probably short-term crypto is going to dip like crazy so now looking at caspa's um, liquidity basically right because that's something that i have forgot to um, show you guys let's have a look so now everybody is shorting caspa so everybody saw these candles right and everybody now is shorting caspa however liquidity for caspa is at the other side basically right so as you can guys clearly see we've got 10.4 million usd right let's put caspa in here on seven daily and you've got another confirmation right you got 707 well 709 million versus almost nothing of shorts right so if we are going to go to the heat map and type caspa in here on bybit right unfortunately i cannot put all of the exchanges but i hope that you guys get the point so as you guys can clearly see this leverage is being perfectly flashed now people are shorting and their stop losses are in here okay so once caspa is going to hit 14 cents I, which I believe is going to happen within a matter of a week, then obviously all of these leverages are going to be shorted for Caspa. And now guys, looking at ETFs, we've got 458.5 million USD of inflows for BTC. So ETFs definitely are not responsible for, uh, you know, that dump for BTC. These were leverages, obviously. And also, guys, one thing to remember, this is something that Gerd van Lagen posted on X, which I believe might gonna happen, right? So we've got the base one, two, three, let's say base four, right? In here, around 130. And then the pullback might gonna happen. And then probably the sell line around 260 or whatever obviously these price predictions are very sexy but the reason why i'm showing you this is because you have to remember that nothing is going in a straight up line in this market right and you should take out your profits as you go in this market okay another thing is that mr prof is pointing out this is three daily chart by the way he's saying if you ask me too many people are waiting for a dip here and as a rule btc simply goes higher in such cases a breakout of the downtrend is a huge signal and that was basically yesterday guys okay so first of all i am not saying that i'm right 100 because this of course is not a financial advice neither do prof right nobody is perfect right i believe that we still do have a little bit of time to go parabolic for btc that's why these leverages most likely going to be flushed let's see okay and 
on the top of that we've got open interest and cme futures that are hitting their all-time highs so this is another thing and in the midst of all of this nobody cares about crypto as you guys can clearly see you know everything that is happening at the moment is probably another answer to questions why caspa isn't pumping what why altcoins are boring why this why that right because obviously money will have to come right due to the fact of global liquidity increasing so on and so forth and then crypto is going to pump not mentioning about presidential elections and after that the FOMO is going to kick in the retail is going to come in right very interesting thing is that we've got Caspa's birthday so Caspa will turn three years old on November 7th 2024 so year one Caspa increased about 2800 percent year two Caspa increased about 2300 percent and so far in year three Caspa is only up 100 percent guys perhaps Caspa could pump properly in November right according to the history let's see so guys and Nacho is based basically well actually up 236 and i have put 200 dollars into it citus is dumping obviously and caspa is sitting at 739 dollars in terms of the public portfolio so let's have a look at nacho now guys right this is where i have degent into nacho right and this is what's going on right obviously things are looking the way they are looking but that's fine obviously i do expect this thing to actually pump in probably a couple of months when first of all caspa is going to see significant upside and then most likely nacho okay so guys if you are interested into DJing into any old coin whatever that is caspa nacho whatever it is that you want make sure that you check out the links in the description for pionex global and us okay so and now guys coming back to short term caspa's price action i do believe that caspa is going to find the support at 11 cents 6 and probably bounce towards the upside towards levels of 14 cents where it's going to find its um, resistance right where it's going to grab this liquidity guys that's it what i've got for you today don't shake your pants hold your diamond hands and as always peace and love crypto